What is going on guys? I am just leaving the public library. Got my daily work in for the mental conditioning playbook. About to hop back on my bike here, go home, get a little bite to eat. Right now we are dog sitting for my aunt and uncle. It's a, uh, for those of you that have dogs, our dogs are special to us. We love them, but we're dog sitting for aunt and uncle who has a hundred plus pound silver lab. It's a pretty big dog and she's been going to the bathroom inside the house. She's been pooping in the house. She's anxious. She wants to see her family. So a little anxiety. Hopefully I'm not going back to another mess. We've had a number of messes over the past couple of days, but just keep rolling with the punches, right? So I just got this work in on the mental conditioning playbook and You know, wanted to wanted to talk about those punches that we do get faced with. So yesterday, I spent about at least three hours, maybe four hours, if you count traveling and going to the store, on cleaning dog shit. <laughs> and I know that's you know not a very inspiring video that you're seeing on YouTube or wherever you're seeing this, but it's real, it's my life, it's not just Flash. So dealing with cleaning it up, that's, that's three or four hours out of my daily routine, out of my daily schedule, out of my daily habits that I have to consciously decide what part of my daily routine in a perfect day do I have to eliminate? So. You know, uh, I'm learning it's life is about prioritization. You get the most important things in our lives. And sometimes our priorities are focused on things that we can't control or they're focused on things that we didn't want to happen. And I'm a firm believer in the saying that the best way to the best time to deal with a problem is beforehand. And I'm also a firm believer that you can't prepare for all problems beforehand. So we have a choice at every second. Every second where our brain is processing and saying, what does this mean to me? What does this event, what does this action, what does this thing, what does this activity, what does this person mean to me? Is it something that can be used for good? Is it something that I can learn from? Is it something that I could benefit from? Is it something that would help me financially or health-wise or relationship-wise? Would it help me in any of those areas? Would it hurt me in any of those areas? Then obviously, you, you know, your brain processes so much every single second. Hopefully we don't get caught up in it more often than not, but unfortunately, unfortunately we do get caught up in it we do get caught up in thinking our way through it too much or reacting emotionally or reacting crazy. But I'm back on track, back on my daily routine today, three or four hour sideline or obstacle yesterday. Still got my writing in yesterday. Still got the most important pieces in. Uh, We're just keeping moving, baby. We're just keeping moving. We're just keeping the train moving. That's one of the most valuable things that we could do. Just keep the train moving. We have uh, spotted red lantern flies. I don't know if you can see it on the ground. So here in Pennsylvania, at least in central Pennsylvania, we have spotted red lantern flies. I don't know if you've ever seen these things. They're actually not like a disgusting looking bug. They've got like red wings and uh, they're kind of big. There's another one over here. They're gray and spotted. I don't know if you can see this thing. <laughs> They're gray and spotted. And when they open their wings, then it's red. It's like a bright red and it's, you know, kind of nice. But their wings flap kind of in an odd way and they, they fly around in an odd way. But uh, I guess they're harmful to dogs if dogs just lick them or get them on their paws or something like that so everyone's trying to kill them everyone's trying to make sure they squish them but it's about to get cold here for the winter right now it's in the 70s 
It's about to get cold for the winter though, so uh, apparently they'll die off, but they'll have more offspring. I, can't, I think they came from another country. I'm not sure exactly where they came from, but hopefully everyone's having a great day. About to get on my bike, head home here. Hopefully there's no mess, fingers crossed. If you guys like this video, please smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff, and we will see you on the next video.